Clouds and haze completely hide the surface of Titan, Saturn's giant moon. Titan reminds me a little bit of home. Like Earth, it has an atmosphere that's mostly nitrogen, but it's four times denser. NASA's Cassini mission to Saturn pulled into orbit, dropped off of itself, a little probe? The probe Huygens descended down from the Cassini spacecraft and landed on Titan. Hidden beneath lies a weirdly familiar landscape. Titan has lots of water, but all of it is frozen hard as rock. In fact, the landscape and mountains are made mainly of water ice. On Titan, the seas and the rain are made not of water, but of methane and ethane. On Earth, those molecules form natural gas. On frigid Titan, they're liquid. There might be creatures that inhale hydrogen instead of oxygen and exhale methane instead of carbon dioxide. They might use acetylene instead of sugar as an energy source. How could we find out if such creatures rule a hidden empire beneath the oil-dark waves? The probe Huygens landed in one spot. You know, it's a big moon. It's one of six moons bigger than Pluto, by the way. Uh, you know, what's the other side of the moon look like? The probe only had battery life for a couple of hours. We weren't there long enough to see how things change. Does it snow methane? So these long time baseline questions can't be answered by two hours worth of data. Cassini mission was launched in 1997, and Saturn is a long way away. It took seven years to get there. The Huygens probe launched from Cassini only operated two hours, but Cassini itself powered by plutonium RTG, continues to study Saturn and her 62 moons 